Students, we got a good question. We are expected to find the value of cos 112.5 degrees, right? So, how are we going to do this? Now, what I wish to do is, I would like to rewrite this degree, cos 112. Point five degrees. This is what has been given. So I would like to rewrite this as multiplied by 2 and divided by 2. So what happens here? This is going to be equal to cos 2 to 5. When you multiply 112.5 by 2, you get 2 to 5 degrees. Right, so degree that symbol is there divided by 2. So, what are we going to do is we are going to find the value for this. Now, this is nothing but this is likened to the value of cos alpha over 2, where I can state alpha being equal to 2 to 5 degrees. So, that is the initial adjustments that we have to do. Now, this is going to be our half, uh, half angle. Now, we know that cos alpha over 2 is equal to root of 1 positive cos alpha divided by 2. So, alpha is 2 to 5, so we will have to place 2 to 5 there. So, therefore, cos of 2 to 5 over 2 is going to be equal to root of 1 positive cos 2 to 5 divided by 2. Now, if we know the value of 2 to 5, this question is completed. It's finished. So, the value of 2 to 5, how are we going to get the value of 2 to 5? Now, 2 to 5 can be written as cos of 180 positive 45, right? Now, this is similar to our cos of A positive B. So, what is that? That's nothing but cos of 180 times cos 45 negative sine of 180 times sine 45. Now, sine 180, that leads us to 0. So, there's no point in keeping that. So, all we got is cos 180. Cos 180, we know it's negative 1. And cos 45 is nothing but 1 over root 2. So, we got a value of negative 1 over root 2, 4 over 2 to 5. And what we can do is just to have the calculation, right, simplified. I'm going to multiply this by root 2, divide by root 2. So, this is going to be negative root 2 divided by, root 2 multiplied with root 2 would give me 2. So, this value I can always use. So, if I were to take this as 2, I can state here, therefore, 2 is rewritten as root of 1 negative root 2 over 2 divided by 2. So, the root actually flows. This is equal to root of 2 negative root 2 divided by 2. I already have a 2 here. So, that would come over to the denominator, thereby giving me 2 times 2, 4. But I can in turn rewrite that as square root of 2 negative root of 2 divided by 2. Right? So, this is what we have got. Now, there is one important thing that we need to know. Now, we need to get hold of the sign. So, how are we going to handle that sign? Now, if you were to draw the quadrants, this is first quadrant, this is second quadrant, this is third quadrant, and this is fourth quadrant. Now, if you would remember, I had made the rule for taking the value of root of 1 positive cos alpha divided by 2, the half angle rule. In fact, that rule is the universal rule. And it states that this can be positive if the value of alpha over 2, if this value lies either in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 4. 
apparently 112 the value 112.5 degrees is present in quadrant 2 where sin alone is positive in this quadrant cosine value is negative right so what we got to do is we will have to now place the sign because cosine of 112.5 degrees is going to give us a negative value because of the fact it is present in quadrant 2 so place the sign of course i have not placed the sign initially to avoid any confusions because we are actually performing two different operations using a different identity this is the compound angle identity so it's always better to solve it get the extraction and then talk about the sign decide on the sign now if you were to come across here the sign is going to be negative the sign is going to be negative the sign is going to be negative so this is the final solution so you can simply state here so the ends cos of 112 Point five degrees is equal to negative root of two negative root of two divided by two. So this is the solution, and it is only valid when you place a negative sign. So don't forget the negative sign. So having mentioned that, this is a lovely question to experience half-angle trigonometry.